good morning students of class 3 students today i'll be continuing with lesson true friends given on page number 24 of your wordsworth english reader book students before discussing the question and answers of this lesson i would like to read the lesson once again for you and summarize it please listen to me lesson number 3 true friends once upon a time four friends namely a sparrow a deer a mouse and a turtle lived together in a forest they were very good friends and always played and stayed with each other one day while the four friends were playing near a pond they saw a hunter with a big net coming towards them the animals became very scared and tried to think of ways to save themselves the deer ran to the nearby bushes to hide itself the sparrow flew away to the highest branch of a neighboring tree and the mouse hid himself in a small hole at the foot of a nearby tree the turtle also tried to quickly move back into the pond but since he walked slowly the hunter caught and trapped him in his net the sparrow the deer and the mouse were very troubled to see their friend trapped in the hunter's net they quickly thought of a plan to save the turtle the sparrow flew high up in the sky to locate where the hunter had gone when he found the hunter he told the deer who ran quickly to overtake the hunter taking care not to be seen by him the deer went and lay down on the hunter's path pretending to be dead when the hunter saw the dead deer he became very happy on seeing the big animal which he could take back instead of a small turtle he dropped the trap turtle on the ground and went towards the deer the mouse quickly went towards the turtle cut the net with a sharp teeth and freed the turtle the turtle and the mouse then quickly escaped from the place as soon as the hunter reached the deer it got up abruptly and ran away into the forest the hunter was astonished feeling disappointed he turned back to pick up the trap turtle however to his surprise the net had been cut and the turtle had escaped the hunter cursed his misfortune and went back home the turtle thanked his friends for saving him and the four friends lived happily together in the forest so students the story two friends is about friendship true friendship between four friends now who were the four friends the four friends were a sparrow a deer a mouse and a turtle they were very close friend and they lived together in a forest they were so good friends that they did all the things together in the forest they played together they ate together they slept together they enjoyed together they walked together and they talked together they were very fond of each other they liked each other very much they enjoyed each other's company and they were comfortable in each other's company that is what friendship is about so one day as usual the four friends that that is a sparrow a deer mouse and turtle they were playing near the pond in the forest suddenly the four friends saw 
a hunter coming with a big net towards them so the moment the four friends they were animals they saw the hunter they got very scared and they started thinking now how to save themselves from the uh, hunter now as the deer has got long powerful legs the deer quickly ran in the nearby bushes and hid himself in the bushes the uh, sparrow had feathers and wings so she flew high up on one of the branch of the nearby tree so the hunter couldn't reach her the deer escaped the sparrow escaped now mouse and turtle were left so mouse also is a small animal can uh, run quickly so he also run and hid himself in a small hole at the bottom at the foot of a nearby tree now only who was left the turtle was left since the turtle carries a heavy shell on its back and has got small legs so it walks slowly and he couldn't run fast couldn't escape so the hunter caught hold of the turtle and trapped him in his net now when the three friends saw that three of them had escaped and one of their friend was caught by the hunter they were very much upset they were worried they were worried because their friend was caught by the hunter and now they started thinking of a plan how to get their friend freed from the hunter's trap so they made a plan and the sparrow immediately flew high up in the sky to locate the hunter's position as where he was there in the forest she saw from top that the hunter was going through a certain path she immediately came down informed the deer that this is the path where the hunter is going now as per the plan the deer ran quickly he could run very fast he ran on the same path where the hunter was going but he ensured that no he uh, ran so fast and that the hunter did not notice him uh, crossing his path and the deer overtook the hunter's path maybe from the bushes he must have uh, ran so that the hunter could not see him and on the path which the hunter was going he lay down on the path and he pretended as if he was dead so after some time when the hunter reached the spot where the deer was lying hunter went near him and he saw a big animal he was very happy he today to i was taking a small turtle in my net now i'll get, get a big animal i can enjoy his meat i can sell the skin of the big animal also hunter was planning so he just put the net in which the turtle was trapped on the ground and he went nearby close to the a uh, place where the deer was pretending to be dead lying on the ground as if he was dead but actually he was just fooling the hunter so the hunter went near uh, the deer to see ki uh, i'll see and then i'll uh, put him in my net and carry away with me to my home on the moment the hunter went near the deer the deer suddenly sprang up with full energy and he ran away and vanished in the jungle now the hunter was in a state of shock and surprise he thought that it was a dead animal but to his surprise the moment he went near the deer the deer sprang up with full energy and vanished in the jungle the hunter was upset he was in a state of shock and then he thought i'll have to just carry the turtle which i have trapped in my net and by the time the hunter went there what happened as per the plan of the three friends uh the mouse he came when the hunter had dropped the net the mouse came he nibbled he cut the net that strong net in which the turtle was trapped with his sharp teeth and he uh, freed the turtle out of the net and immediately the mouse and the turtle they also escaped somewhere somewhere in the jungle and now what happened when the hunter returned back when the deer had uh, run away he thought he'll um, carry his net with the turtle and go and what to his surprise again there was another shock for him his net had been 
cut and the turtle was also not that the turtle had also escaped he was missing now so he was wondering he was cursing himself that my uh, uh, greed just out of greed i went to see that i'll be carrying a big animal and now what had happened the big animal is also gone my net has also been cut and the turtle has also escaped now so i i have to go uh, to my home empty handed now he was uh, very much upset and he was cursing he out of anger he was speaking bad about himself only ki that why did i go if i wouldn't have gone i would have at least carried the turtle along with me and then uh the turd, after the hunter had gone away from the jungle the four friends again they met the turtle thanked his friends because they did not leave him in his bad times when he was in trouble his friends came for his rescue they thought of a plan and as per the plan they made the turtle free and now they were all together that is what friendship is about and they uh, were all together and after that they lived together happily in the forest again so students the true friends is a story from panchtantra and panchtantra uh, has got stories about all animals and each animal has got a quality in pantantra stories which helps the animal to come out of the trouble so this teaches us students that we should always help our friends never leave our friends especially during trouble because a friend in need is a friend in deed and the more you share with your friends the more you care for, for your friends students now i'll go through all the uh, new words which we have read in this lesson students our first word is neighboring neighboring means nearby close by something which is very near to you that is known as neighboring like our neighbor stays just next to our house that means near to our house same way neighboring means anything which is very close to you now second word is foot foot means bottom like on page 24 the page number is mentioned at the foot of the page fine like in your body when you stand your foot is um, at the bottom so that's the reason foot means something downwards now the third word is trouble troubles means worried trouble means worried you all know nowadays lockdown is going on so everybody seems to be troubled by lockdown one cannot move out of the house isn't it because it is not safe so everybody is worried now what will happen what will happen will everything become all right or no so anything which causes worry is known as trouble now overtake means to go past someone or to cross someone isn't it then pretending means showing fake behavior showing that behavior actually that is not real you pretend to be what you are not so one should not pretend freed to set free to set somebody free out of suppose somebody is locked somewhere you open the lock and let the person uh, come out that means you are freeing that person now next word is escape escape means to run away like in the story the tortoise uh, that small turtle he escaped from the hunter's net the mouse had helped the turtle escape from the hunter's net abruptly suddenly in the story we uh, saw that how the deer abruptly stood up when the hunter went near him suddenly he stood up isn't it so that's abruptly then astonished surprised something which makes you surprised that is astonished now next word is disappointed disappointed means sad and upset anything that makes you sad or upset is 
disappointed at times you are disappointed when you don't get good marks in exams that makes you sad and upset then 11th word is cursed curse means speaking bad words in anger when you are in anger at times certain bad words come out of your mouth which we should not do that is cursing isn't it so that we should stay away from so that is cursed you should not curse anyone then the last word is misfortune the last word is misfortune means ill luck bad luck ill luck or bad luck now students th these were the word meanings now i'll start with the comprehension part of the lesson but remember students that this story has been adapted from panch tantra and panch tantra uh, is a collection of animal stories and each animal of the story has got a special quality which helps him to come out of a difficult situation and uh, by reading the stories of panch tantra we can le uh, learn many things which are helpful in our day to day life and each story of panch tantra has got a moral students this story also uh, proves that a friend in need is a friend in deed now students we we'll start with the comprehension now in this students as we have just now read the word meaning so we'll be able to do it easily students let's start with match the words from the story with their meaning since we have just done the word meanings now we have just revised it once again so it will be easier for us to solve this now let's solve troubled means troubled means disturbed troubled means disturbed it's over here neighboring means nearby neighboring means nearby disappointed means upset disappointed means upset abruptly is suddenly students abruptly suddenly misfortune bad luck misfortune bad luck scared afraid scared afraid astonished surprised astonished surprised and trapped means caught trapped means caught now students since we know the word meanings now let's try to frame sentences on these words so that we'll improve our language skills we'll improve our vocabulary if we frame the sentences the meaning will remain in our minds we'll be able to comprehend the word in a better manner our first word is trouble trouble means disturb now let's try to frame one sentence on trouble my father looked troubled when he heard the news that means my father looked worried when he heard the news my father looked disturbed when he heard the news maybe because students the news was not good so father was looking a bit worried so trouble means worried this was the first tense now the second uh, word is neighboring means nearby now let's try to frame one sentence on neighboring now neighboring uh let's try to name one of our neighboring countries we have got uh, neighboring countries so pakistan is our neighboring country nepal is our neighboring country any country uh which is adjacent to our country will be our neighboring country isn't it so you can write pakistan is our neighboring country neighboring means nearby now third word is disappointed or upset disappointed or upset i was disappointed when my grandparents left for the village you were upset and sad when your grandfathers left for the village now next word is abruptly that means something which happened suddenly abruptly means suddenly it started raining abruptly 
it started raining suddenly now fifth word is misfortune misfortune means bad luck now suppose a small baby uh, who loses his father at a says about he's 2 years old and his father passes away so that's the misfortune of the small baby so the sentence will be he had the misfortune to lose his father at the age of 2 he had the misfortune of losing his father at the age of 2 or he had the bad luck to lose his father at the age of 2 now and next word is scared and next word is scared scared means uh, afraid which uh, anything which makes you scared now i am scared of reptiles i believe everybody is scared of reptiles snakes lizards crocodiles these are all reptiles and we are scared of them so our sentence will be i am afraid of reptiles i am scared of reptiles seventh word is astonish surprise astonish means surprise his success astonish everyone his success surprised everyone now next last word is our trap trap means caught trap means caught the birds were trapped and kept in cage the birds were caught and kept in cage so students i hope this is clear to you now we'll start with answer the following questions we'll start with answer the following questions now students our first question is who were the four friends where did they live now we need to name the four friends of the story and where did the four friends live so all of us know answer is the four friends were a sparrow a deer a mouse and a turtle they lived together in a forest again i'm repeating the answer the four friends were a sparrow a deer a mouse and a turtle they lived together in a forest and students don't forget to put comma after a sparrow a deer because we need to separate these words and these are all nouns and nouns are separated by a comma in a sentence so after sparrow you need to put a comma and after dear you need to put a comma so i'm repeating the answer please listen to me the four friends were a sparrow a deer a mouse and a turtle full stop they lived together in a forest full stop the four friends were a sparrow comma a deer comma a mouse and a turtle full stop they live together in a forest full stop now question number 2 how did the sparrow the deer and the mouse save themselves from the hunter now students as read in the story the four friends were playing near a pond when they saw the hunter so they were scared of the hunter and then how did they escape from the hunter this we need to tell so here one of the friend was trapped so about that friend we need not mention here it is his, the question only asked how did the sparrow deer and mouse save themselves because the fourth animal was trapped by the hunter he couldn't escape the turtle couldn't escape so he was trapped now our answer will be to save themselves from the hunter comma to save themselves from the hunter comma the deer ran away to the nearby bushes to hide itself the deer ran away to the nearby bushes to hide itself comma 
the sparrow flew away to the highest branch of a neighboring tree and the mouse hid himself in a small hole at the foot of a nearby tree i'm repeating the answer again please listen to me answer number 2 how did the sparrow the deer and mouse save themselves from the hunter answer number 2 is to save themselves from the hunter comma the deer ran away to the nearby bushes to hide itself comma the sparrow flew away to the highest branch of a neighboring tree and the mouse hid himself in a small hole at the foot of a nearby tree full stop question number 3 why was the turtle caught by the hunter now question says now question number 2 had asked how did the three animals save themselves how did they escape the hunter now question number 3 is asking how was the, i mean how the turtle was caught by the hunter you need to give the reason why the turtle was trapped by the hunter the answer will be the turtle was caught by the hunter this part you will get from the question itself the turtle was caught by the hunter because he walked slowly because he walked slowly again i am repeating the answer question number 3 says he asked the question is why was the turtle caught by the hunter answer is the turtle was caught by the hunter because he walked slowly now question number 4 why was the hunter happy on seeing the dead deer now children are seen because the hunter uh, had caught the turtle and turtle is a small animal so hunter was not happy carrying the turtle home and when he saw the dead deer it a uh, maiden happy because he thought now i'll get a big animal i'll carry a big animal so that i can get more meat i can also sell the skin so he was happy so why was the hunter happy on seeing the deer answer is when the hunter saw the dead deer comma he became very happy on seeing on seeing the big animal which he could take back instead of a small turtle again i'm repeating the answer when the hunter saw the dead deer comma he became very happy on seeing the big animal which he could take back instead of a small turtle full stop i'm repeating once again the answer for please listen to me carefully when the hunter saw the dead deer comma he became very happy on seeing the big animal which he could take back instead of a small turtle now question number 5 the last question what did the mouse do to save the turtle now how did the mouse save the turtle answer the mouse quickly went towards the turtle cut the net with a sharp teeth and freed the turtle the mouse quickly went towards the turtle comma cut the net with his sharp teeth and freed the turtle the mouse quickly went towards the turtle cut the net with his sharp teeth and freed the turtle so students these were the question and answers now 
Our next question is on basis of reading of the story. All of us have read the story. I have explained it to you. We need to write the characteristics, the quality of the four friends. There were four friends, four animals were there and each one had a different quality. Now we need to uh, mention the characteristics, the qualities of the four friends. On the basis of your reading of the story, write the characteristics of the four friends and complete the following table. Now for the name of four friends are given in the column and we need to write each quality of the animal of the story. Now let's start with sparrow. The sparrow. What was the special characteristics of sparrow? The sparrow could fly high up in the sky. Special characteristics of sparrow is the sparrow could fly high up in the sky. Whereas the three other animals could be flying. Special characteristics of sparrow is the sparrow could fly high in the sky. Now mouse. What was the special characteristics quality of mouse? The mouse could hide himself in a small hole and had sharp teeth. Mouse is a small animal. It can hide itself anywhere and it has got sharp teeth to nibble the things. That's the reason it had nibbled the strong net of the hunter. The mouse could hide himself in a small hole and had sharp teeth. The mouse could hide himself in a small hole and had sharp teeth. Now let's <coughs> come to the third animal, turtle. What was the special characteristics of turtle? The turtle walked slowly. The turtle walked slowly. And just because of this quality, he was trapped by the, he, the hunter caught him and trapped him in his net. Now the fourth animal, deer. Now... The deer could run quickly. The special quality of deer was the deer could run quickly because first time when the deer saw the hunter that time also it ran quickly and vanished in the bushes. Second time also when he pretended to be dead on the way of hunter when the hunter came near him he got abruptly and again ran and vanished in the forest. So the special characteristic of deer is the deer could run quickly the deer could run quickly now students since we have uh, learned so many new words now we'll try to frame sentences on the new words learned from this lesson now if you want you can note down also our first word is trouble the first word which i have uh, chosen is trouble now please write the sentence from Trouble. Most of the people were troubled during lockdown. As lockdown period is going on and most of the people are troubled. They are troubled because of the lockdown. So our sentence is most of the people were troubled during lockdown. Now my second word is escaped. Escaped. Ran away. Escape meaning ran away. The policemen were running after the thief who escaped the prison. The policemen were running after the thief who escaped the prison. The policemen were running after the thief who escaped the prison. Now my third word is pretending, displaying a behavior which is not real, that is pretending, displaying a fake behavior. He was pretending as if he was asleep, he was pretending as if he was asleep, he was pretending as if he was asleep and spelling of asleep is A S L. Double E P and please keep in mind whenever we start a sentence we start with a capital letter and end with a full stop. So please start all your sentences with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Now my fourth word is neighboring. Neighboring means nearby. 
Nepal is our neighboring country. Nepal is our neighboring country. Nepal is our neighboring country. Now, fifth third is astonished. Astonished means surprised. The children were astonished to see a white tiger in the zoo. The children were astonished to see a white tiger tiger in the zoo. The children were astonished to see a white tiger in the zoo. Now if you go to a zoo and if you see a white tiger you'll be surprised and there are white tigers in zoo. We have got white tiger at uh, Nandan Kanan, Urisa. You can see lot of white tigers in Nandan Kanan, Urisa children. Now sixth word is Disappointed, sad and upset. Disappointed means sad and upset. I was disappointed when I was not selected in the school team. I was disappointed when I was not selected in the school team. I was disappointed when I was not selected in the school team. So children, uh, that's all for today. Now, rest of the exercise will be continuing in our next class.